Hey YouTube, it's uh, time for another video. I've been, it's it was a miserable summer for me. I I spent most of it crippled and uh, hot, sick, and hiding from the heat. Um, but uh, anyways, it's fall, and what now? What we're working on today is I I didn't originally wasn't planning on doing a video about it, it but it's kind of the. Uh, uh, just seemed like an appropriate thing to do a video on. I mean, if we can't, if we're going to do any kind of welding and fabrication at all, eventually one of these things will come up. But it's a uh, Santa Maria style barbecue. Um, this particular one is going to be set into masonry. Uh, the design is is one that I, I created. It's um, the cooktop is roughly four foot by six foot, so it's not small. It's it's pretty big, and then. Uh, uh, we're building it so that it's uh, the, the, the grill there'll be a big wheel on it the grill will lift up it's got a lock built in and then uh, the whole mechanism they'll build a base for it where you know where it's going to be set and then it will set down in that and uh, the, there'll be some finished masonry real supposed to be real decorative I don't know what the final product's going to look like I'm just doing this part so um, anyway that's all I've got to, to bring you up to speed on so far. So uh, we've got a big sheet of uh, six foot by eight foot uh, expanded metal. It's uh, oh, grating, and uh, I've got a button. I got most of the materials here. They sent one thing wrong. I'm waiting for the delivery to fix that. But other than that, everything's ready, and uh, we're just going to get started. So start cutting some steel.
people are finally done. The uh, <clears throat> two pits here, they're uh, painted and ready to go. The uh, cooktops aren't painted, of course, because nobody wants paint in their food, but uh, kind of go over the mechanisms and stuff, the way it locks and everything works. The idea behind this is, let's flip that around. Anyways, the idea behind this is it's going to set in a masonry uh, base so it'll rest on this ledge, on this lip, this leg of the uh, angle iron. And <clears throat> then what'll happen is it'll get back, back filled uh, on the inside with sand. And then uh, I think he's talking about putting a, a refractory brick, fire brick or something like that in the bottom just to make it easier to clean. Uh, I got a little paint spatter and stuff on here still, but uh, we use these eyes so that we can adjust the, the level on it. And uh, you cables, they go up into the spindles up here into this axle and wrap around the axle. The axle is attached to this hub that is turned by the, this larger wheel. And then the locking mechanism is, of course, this uh, large nut with these uh, handles on it. And this bolt goes all the way to the other end over there and kind of clamps the hub in position. So it's pretty simple, pretty clean. Um, <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> uh, as I understand it, they're uh, going to be used at a, one of them is going to be used at a ranch. Uh, the trailer is mine. It's just, I've had that asked more than once. People want to know if I was building it on the trailer. Um, pretty common deal that people have them put on trailers so they can take them mobile and uh, take them to different events and such. But these are, as far as I know, both of them are going to be put into a, uh, uh, masonry brick uh, base but uh, that's it I don't know how this is going to work out as far as a video I don't know how I'm gonna break it up I didn't record every single thing that I did it was getting kind of long and boring and I, it, the other day it rained so it was kind of hard it was dark in here and so a lot of the footage that I shot for that just didn't turn out real well but um, anyway uh, that's the Santa Maria barbecue so uh, till next time. Bye.